Next Level Racing's HF8 Gaming Haptic Pad is here, and it is sheer amazing. Designed for sim racing, first-person shooters, and any other types of audio through a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for all kinds of entertainment and immersion. The pad itself has eight haptic motors designed for giving you that immersion and is designed to fit any seat with some straps that are on the back side of the seat. It could strap into any chair as well as a sim rig like I have it in use, but it is just pure amazement for that extra level of immersion. Next Level Racing's quality is truly exceptional. Make sure you check all the links down in the description for more information and giveaways from Next Level. When it came to the HF8 for the software, the software was actually extremely awesome. As you can see, there was a lot of games that were fully supported and everything like that. And going into the games such as iRacing, you get into the tuning aspect where you can choose all the different parameters of what you want for turning on gear shifting versus how much tune you want, how like intense you want it to be overall comparative to all the other ones and which seat indicator section would work for which of the eight haptic motors and you can see we i sat there and fine tuned a lot of different things for it to make the left side of the ground effects the left side of the suspension all work on the left side of the seat as and the right side of the seat for that suspension the tuning and the ability to change all that for all the different games was actually actually incredible and it was very cool to be able to fine tune it how i really wanted to turn on what i wanted to and of course on the home menu you can of course click on and test each individual motor and see you know where the position was and then of course you have intensity slider there but on the knob on the side you could adjust the intensity of the seat itself overall comparative just by the spin of a dial when it got into the actual game is where it truly shined the hf8 the eight haptic motors felt so incredible to give that extra immersion from being in a static seat giving you the ability to tune when you hit rumble strips when you have the immersion of speed set so that it ramps up as you got faster i of course hit in a set of corsa initially on norschleiven and was it feeling every little bump and crack in the road i had it set so the seat would feel every bump in the suspension so i could kind of feel when the suspension was giving when you hit a rumble strip it just gave that much more intuitive feel i had the brake set so that when I was fully hard on the brakes or it was really starting to get locked up or slow down, the seat would start to vibrate so I could give that another like aspect of the feeling of what's going on in the car. So a lot of people have butt kickers or vibrations saying this just in turn makes even more immersion and I couldn't be happy and thankful that Next Level Racing sent it out for me to give a chance to try it. It is truly that addition into the sim chassis that i have already with of course all the force feedback wheels and everything like that the static seat was one thing that is very hard to get used to when driving in a sim you drive via your eyes and not seat of the pants like you would in a real car but the hf8 gives you that ability to have some sort of a next level in feeling when it comes to the feeling of the game I did also take it into iRacing and stuff like that, and it just felt incredible having that fine-tuning ability. Getting into the software was kind of a rabbit hole, but it's simplistic to use, trying to adjust it, fine-tune it. One of the quirky, fun features that I enjoyed is the gear shift. When you slap the paddle, the seat vibrates, because if you're in a real car, in a real GT3 car, which I've had a chance to be in before, the car does shake or if you're in a you know pro drift car or anything with like a sequential style transmission you get a little click and a clunk and a jerk so that gave that feeling and it was just such a fun feeling to have and you know it's just adding a big element to my sim setup and just that element of feeling is making the games even more more immersive so one thing I did notice was I did have to raise my uh, steering placement up because it does lift you up a little bit. You can see in the wheel cam, I'm very close to my knees in this. I didn't raise it up, but that was the only thing I could really find. That was a bit of a quirky thing that I needed to address. Otherwise, it was super incredible. I can't thank Next Level Racing enough for sending it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you next time.